Okay, there's been a few questions about question number six, or a few problems with question number six, so let's have a look what it says. Calculate the enthalpy of formation of ethane using only the following data and the bond enthalpies in the table. All right, so the first thing we have to do is write out the formula for the enthalpy of formation of ethane. Well, ethane is C2H6. Let's work backwards, shall we? We may as well. It's, all, it's there for us. I'm going to copy it down here. Uh, let's just tab over there somewhere. Actually, this is tabbing in a very strange way. Maybe I shouldn't tab. Let's just run it over there. Oh, did the same thing again. <laughs> There's all sorts of issues going on here, aren't there? Right. We'll just run it across with this. So, there's C286 is what we have to make. How do we make it? Well, we're going to make it from its elements in their standard state. So over here we have to have two carbon. And what's the what's carbon in its standard state? It's a solid. And we're going to add this to 3H2. What's this in its standard state? It's a gas. It's hydrogen gas. All right. So this is our equation. This is the equation that we want to we, uh, we want to generate, if you like. We want to find. Let's just move this back a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a maniacal formatter. I like to have things look right. All right. This is our equation. Let's put it in blue so that we can see what we're aiming for. In yeah, nice blue, shall we? More colours. That's the one I like to use. That one there. Okay, there's a nice blue. All right, so um, now we want to use bond enthalpies, but we're not allowed to use bond enthalpies unless the substances are atomic. Now, that neither of these two substances are, are, are atomic, so we have to take these two and we have to make them, first of all, into atomic substances. Now, how do we do that? Well, carbon is in the solid form and we know that to turn carbon solid into carbon gas will require 715 kilojoules to take two carbon solids into two carbon gas will be two times this won't it two times that makes sense doesn't it all right so if we go if we just start the process by saying this goes to this carbon gas well already we've used 2 times 715 which is uh, 1430 1430 whoops I put the positive sign at the wrong end kilojoules of energy agreed are we all happy with that we can all see that but we also want the hydrogens in the form of atoms as well so we take this step from there and we transform this into almost the same thing except we're going to change the, the hydrogen molecules into hydrogen atoms this is six hydrogen atoms 6h so what have we done well we've broken the hydrogen bonds here haven't we three hydrogen bonds so this step alone let's go up to the table a hydrogen hydrogen bond is worth 436 and we've broken three of them so this is three times 436 for this step and three times 436 using the mighty calculator brain is ooh, that's 336 is or 108 if I'm not much mistaken they are 108 and three fours are 12 so that's mm, 1308 kilojoules Okay, so to go from here to here will require the sum of these two. All right, so let's let's do a let's do a little line to show that we're going to add these up now, and we'll just put add. All right, so now 
we can actually write from here copy to to here will be that plus that will be plus uh, two seven three eight two seven three eight kilojoules now have we got the equation we want no in terms of bond enthalpies we have to break these into their bonds and that requires this energy then we have to make the bonds in this side all right now c2h6 contains so it contains oh, let's put this down c2h6 contains one cc bond and six ch bonds Now, to when we make these bonds, they will release energy. So the energy released here, energy released equals negative. Well, 1 cc, we go up here, 1 cc is 348. 348 plus 6 times 412 I believe it is 412 and we work this sum out I'm going to cheat I'm going to use a calculator right so first of all I do 6 times 412 equals plus 348 equals 2510 2510 kilojoules negative of course this is negative so to get from here to here or could say to here however you look at it will be the sum of these two values so once again we can add these two values up up add and of course this time we get 2738 minus 2510 equals Sorry, I'm just using my calculator here. 2738 minus 2510 equals plus 228 kilojoules. Now I'm just going to do a quick check on my work in here because um, I'm surprised that this is a positive answer. I mean, there are you can have positive enthalpies of formation, but it just surprises me that this that this particular one is positive. So I'm just going to a quick check sum here. Right, two times seven one five is indeed one four three zero, oh. and that takes me to that takes me from here to here. Then I have to have three times four three six is one three zero oh, eight. That looks correct. One four three zero oh, plus one three zero oh, eight would indeed make two seven three eight. That's correct. Okay, so releasing energy, we've got 1 cc, which is 348. And this is the key one, isn't it? We're making six carbon hydrogen bonds. And six fours are 24. Yeah, that's right. Six, six. That's, uh, that's going to be 2472. Two, 2472. Two, two, and this? That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. It looks like we've got a mistake here. So let me just check it out. 6 times 412 equals 2472. Now we add 
three, four, eight. And that makes 2820. Oh, right, okay, so that was my, my problem. This is 2820. Oh. So now when we change this to 2820, oh, we find that my error was a mathematical one. Maybe I pressed the buttons of the calculator wrong. I don't know. 2738 minus 2820. Oh, and that comes to negative 82. It's now an exothermic compound. And that is our answer.